Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be creating a realistic looking waving cloth animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. So before we get started, you need to download uh, these uh, textures. I got these from architectures.org and uh, you can just pretty much download any of these uh, fabric textures. So uh, these are seamless textures. Uh, so go ahead and download them and then import them inside of DaVinci Resolve. Here is mine over here and then just create a blank fusion composition you can find it inside the effects panel over here fusion make sure your effects panel is on and then i'll be using a logo as well you can of course use a text if you want to do that so now let's go to the fusion page and start creating this animation first thing we want to do is let's open up the media pool and drag in this texture so let me just drag that in and this is my texture over here let me just rename this real quick and if you scroll up, you can see that the size of this texture is 900 by 73. So we want this to be in a 1920 by 1080 composition or whatever composition you're working on. It can be 4K as well. So let's just drag in a background node. And now if you take a look at this background node, it will be black. We want to make this transparent. So just drag this alpha slider all the way down to the left. So that should be zero. And now you can connect your texture to this background. And if you take a look at this merge one, uh, this is what you will have and now all you have to do is go to edges over here and set that to wrap cool so now you can if you want to reduce the size and all that stuff you can see that it's gonna still gonna remain uh, seamless the next thing that we want to do is we will drag in our logo and let's take a look at this is our logo here let me just rename this as well what we can do is we can just simply merge this with the merge one over here take a look at this merge two and you can see that your logo is on top over here. I'm going to go to Merge 2 over here and use the size so that it's roughly about this size over here. And change the Apply Mode and set the Operator to Overlay. You can see now it is kind of difficult to see our logo. And uh, let's try and after this logo over here, let's try and add in a color generator. I want to turn this red logo into a white logo. So Color Generator. Find that and click on add and if you take a look at it this will be all white you can take the output of your logo and connect it as an input mask to the color generator it will be white now let's take a look at merge 2 again and you can see that now we are kind of able to see the logo over here um, so after this merge one we can also add in a cc which is a color corrector and you can play around with the gain over here and you can see that now we can kind of see the texture through the logo over here, which is exactly what we want. We can just change the all the different settings over here to get the desired look. But for now, I think this looks fine. And we can even change the color over here if you want to do that. For now, let's just keep this as it is. Now, after the merge tool, we can add in a image plane 3D. All right, so after the image plane 3D, we will add in a displace 3D. Click on add and on the displace 3d we will add in a fast noise let's connect the fast noise to the displace 3d and if you take a look at displace 3d now you can see that we have uh, something going on in our scene over here now you can see that it looks kind of um, sharp kind of like mountains uh, we want this to be smooth so we go to image plane 3d and we will increase the subdivisions level and now it will be more smoother right now after the displace 3d we will add in a camera 3d which will automatically add in a merge after the merge, we will add in a renderer 3D. And uh, on the merge, we will also add in a spotlight, which is this icon over here. Spotlight, just drag that in and connect it to the merge 3D, like so. Now, uh, if you take a look at renderer 3D, this will be empty. And the reason for that is because we need to go to this camera 3D over here, go to transform, and just push it back, uh, push this camera back in the Z space something like that uh, make sure there is no transparent pixels over here fill that in like so and now in the render 3d we will enable lighting and shadows so now we go to well we'll see this will turn black and the reason for this is because of the spotlight over here with spotlight will transform and just change the z position and now you can see the shadows over here generated in this flag and the lights as well right now so far so good uh, we can see that there is a lot of shininess in this scene over here 
So what we can do is we can go to image plane 3D and go to material, uh, go to specular and we will reduce the intensity. So maybe something like that. And you can probably play with the exponent as well. All right, so that is looking good. Now let's go to the fast noise over here and you can change the entire look of this waviness. So if we first of all increase the C3, this will kind of create a continuous motion or animation in our scene. And then we can uncheck lock X and Y and we will increase the X scale and reduce the Y scale. All right, so we can see that we are getting that um, waving flag animation look. Uh, cool, so now we can increase uh, or decrease the contrast. You can increase or decrease the detail amount. And yeah, basically you just play around with the values over here till you get the desired look. I'm just gonna go to image plane 3D and reduce the intensity, the specular intensity quite a bit. That is looking much better. Um, so now if you wanna quickly replace your uh, texture to something else, you can go ahead and use a different texture. And uh, let's uh, swap this out like that and instantly you have another texture over here. Now you can go to color corrector and you can pretty much uh, change the look of it. Um, so let's say you want this to be in a different color, you can change the saturation amount, uh, contrast and all that stuff. I can also go to merge over here and reduce the size of it so that the texture is not too big, right? So I want this to be really small and yeah, this is looking more realistic, right? So that is pretty much it. I hope uh, this video was helpful and informative. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.